20 years ago, Luke Proctor took a one-year welding program at Madison Area Technical College. Now that led to an ironworks apprenticeship. Now that led in 2008 to Proctor Ironworks LLC. And the rest, as they say, is history. Luke is a traditionalist, a blacksmith, using old time methods to create contemporary works. He makes sculptural furniture and has a whole line of utilitarian work. He works out of Mount Horeb, just west of Wisconsin State Capitol. Let's meet him. Hi, Luke. Thanks for giving us some time. Hey, Ned. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, when you think of a blacksmith, you think of some grizzled old guy in a cowboy movie making horseshoes, but you are making stunning furniture. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're, you're connecting the old and the new with the way you create your pieces, and that's what's really intriguing. How do you do that? Yeah, so I use all traditional joinery techniques. Uh, so it's a lot of mortise and tenon joinery riveted together. I don't use any modern welding techniques. So everything's forged hot at the anvil or underneath the power hammer. Uh, but what I'm really going for is a very modern look. Uh, so I want people to look at blacksmithing in a different light, uh, you could say. So we've seen a lot of, you know, the horse, the, what you would think of horseshoes or maybe leaves, grapevines, that sort of thing. But uh, these sculpt, the furniture pieces that I'm doing and using the facades of them, the front of them as the, uh, the canvas, I guess you could say, the sculptural part. Oh, oh you, you still you still got the uh, the anvil going. That's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. That one. Uh, that's that's a neat one. It's a uh, that's actually a fairly modern anvil, but uh, it's made in Germany. Uh, it's got a, a rounded horn on the front and a pointed one on the back, which uh, very useful. Oh wow! Now, where do you go to get an anvil? Yeah, it's not something that the everyday person would want to purchase. Right. So I've got I've got several. I've gotten most of them at uh, old farm auctions, actually. But that one in particular has kind of a neat story behind it. A friend of mine who's a glass blower, his dad was getting into blacksmithing. Um, he bought that anvil and then decided that he had did not have enough time. So I ended up trading him a couple of my pieces for that anvil. So it was kind of a, a neat way to come about it. OK. Now, you're sticking to the old ways of forging and working with the iron, and I'd like you to talk a little bit more about that. Right. So everything's heated up and hammered out uh, as it was as has been done for centuries. Uh, in uh, like all the holes, I don't I drill a few holes here and there, but most of the holes are punched through using different techniques. Uh, a lot of that, like I said, mortise and tenon joinery. Uh, in this video, I'm hammering underneath the uh, pneumatic power hammer. So power hammers have been around since uh, the 1300s in China, driven by water wheels. Uh, this one's pneumatic, so it's all self-contained air hammer. Uh, but there I'm using like top tools on it and everything too. So I have, I make all my own tools. That one's smoothing out the uh, hammer marks after I've uh, tapered it out underneath the power hammer. Well, that sort of brings me to another question. You're creating utilitarian work. Now, we we understand a, a product that somebody would put in their home, but utilitarian work, talk about that a little bit. Sure. So that, that is like a brand new line of, of work that I've just started doing. I've always wanted to do it uh, since the pandemic began. So now I have more time to do stuff like that. So that's stuff that would be everyday kind of things that you would use. Uh, the grilling sets, those have been going really well. So uh they're they're done in a very nice style they're made to last lifetimes and there's a story behind each one considering that they're all handmade uh, so somebody that may enjoy something like that i think would really enjoy using pieces like this now over the years how has your style evolved uh, it's actually it's evolved tremendously, really. So uh, I started out working all in the arts and crafts style. Uh, uh, I still enjoy that style. I like that look, uh, but my tastes have evolved as well as my work. So I've gone to more of a modern uh, kind of style. So I take a lot of uh, insight from Scandinavian modern, uh, shaker style, uh, even mid-century modern somewhat. Uh, but I like very clean lines, clean forgings. 
uh, but I'm trying to put that joinery out front to be seen, not hidden, uh, have that be really an aesthetic part of each piece. I'm curious about one thing. When you decided to go out on your own and form your own company, was that a, a leap of faith or did you have a lot of confidence that this was going to work for you? Well, when you don't know any better, I guess that could be confidence. <laughs> But uh, I worked at the company that I worked at, we did a lot of small forgings. So I did not want to do the smaller stuff. And it was uh, hooked, very utilitarian stuff. I didn't want to compete with the place where I did a lot of my learning. So that's why I went in the direction of the furniture. Um, the other reason I like doing the furniture too is uh, I get to do basically spec pieces. So I get to design, I do all the designing the sizes and everything, and then I take them to the shows and they have had quite good luck with selling them. Uh, of course, I do custom sizes of my pieces, but uh, the designs are pretty much all my own. Well, we really miss seeing you out on the uh, Art Fair tour. Uh, so how can people get a hold of you and how can they see your work? Well, a good way to see it is a brand new website that we've launched uh, just since last month. It's uh, lproctorironworks.com. So just the letter L and then Proctor, P-R-O-C-T-O-R, ironworks.com. It's an e-commerce site, so you can buy directly off the site. Uh, the other spots would be uh, a good one with Instagram. Uh, so on Instagram, I am just Luke Proctor Blacksmith. Uh, and then same with Facebook, too. Uh, if you just uh, look up on Facebook, Luke Proctor Blacksmith, You'll find me there too, uh, but those are all good spots. Has it been hard for you not being out around the country and seeing people face to face in, in the shows? You know, yeah, I, I didn't realize how much I did enjoy doing the shows until they were, you know, until we couldn't do them. But uh, I, that is one of the perks of doing the shows is you get to see and meet the people who buy your work. Uh, you get to interact with people. You know, my work is, uh, it, it, it's more expensive. Uh, so I don't have a lot of sales at the shows, but then the ones that I do, uh, they really keep everything going. But I always try to at least uh, give some information on my work and on blacksmithing to everybody that comes into my booth. Uh, what do your kids educate? What yeah. do your kids think about what you do? Well, I guess they think it's almost normal because I've I've, they've, I've done this my entire their entire lives, and so it's funny. They come down to the shop, they watch me hammer, they take hammers, and they try to hit hot metal. I mean, it's we're very safe. We, you know, put on the glasses, they put on ear protection and everything. But uh, I don't know if they quite get that it's not a normal thing. You know, there's not most people don't have a blacksmith shop at their house. <laughs> Not everybody, at least, but do you, do you right. think maybe one, one of them might carry on the family business? Well, I wouldn't push them, but if any of them want to, I'll be more than happy to have them in the shop with me. Well, I know you want to get back into the shop, but I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to visit with us. And uh, uh, we just wish you the best and uh, look forward to seeing you out on the tour. Well, thanks, Ned. Thank you very much. Been great talking with you. It's been great talking to you also, Luke, and we look forward to seeing you again. Uh, thanks for joining us on this Thomas William Furniture Virtual Art Fair Behind the Scenes, and join us again for another visit.